Uh, hey guys, Gabe uh, here again with another deck profile. This time uh, I'm going to be doing my Blau deck, which seems relevant finally because we're getting stuff out of there in BT10. So let's get to it. I'm running the starter Morganrot, who's an amazing starter. It's um, when your Blau Vanguard hits, counter blast one, no GB one, thankfully, because this deck has a mid game. When your Blau Vanguard hits, uh, check top three. If there's a Blau card in there, reveal it to your opponent, add it to your hand, and shuffle. So it nets you nice plus, it deck thins, which Nova Grappler doesn't really do. So it's a great starter, I like to run it uh, as my starter. Grade threes is probably the weirdest grade three lineup I've run out of all of my decks. Uh, normally, as normal, we'll have four copies of Galaxy Blau Pluger, who is Limit Break. Um, when a Blau unit hits, so Van or Rear, Counterblast 2, discard 2, stand uh, the galaxy column. So it, it's a restanding column. It's a pretty decent limit break because it's when any Blau hits. And if your opponent rushes you or you have to stride um, second and you can't stride for whatever reason, you'll be at 4 damage. You can use it. It's, it's, it's a pretty decent ability. So I, it's the main grade 3. Also, uh, if you have Stern, Blau, Kluger, and the Soul, plus 2k permanently, so it's a cross ride, which does come in handy. While numbers have gotten bigger, the 2k can still save you. And like classic grade 3's Lord, if you have a Nod Nova, it can't attack. Uh, next, my backup grade 3 is only 3 copies of Stern, Blau, Kluger, which is, um, it's the grade 3 of the original ride chain, which the deck was focused around. So it has, uh, if you have regular Blau Kluger in the soul, plus 1k permanently, and on hit, Counterblast 2, discard 2, restand Stern's column, and it loses a drive check. I'm running this at 3 because since the game has moved on into grade 3 centered and striding and all of that, mid and early game has had a much more of an importance. And if you have the if you have the stride second, so you ride grade three first, this is a great ride because it's a because thanks to Morgan Watt, it's a 16k potentially restanding column. Which is kind of devastating. And if you get a crit off of one of your drive checks, give it to your Vanguard, they'll probably let it hit restand with critical while your opponent's at grade two. So Stern is a really good card nowadays. So I like to run it at three and I'm not running the brake ride because um, it's a bit slow and I have to kind of, it, it kind of, the brake ride doesn't work if you stride. So you, when you brake ride, you need to stay on the brake ridden uh, card and that can kind of hurt you because again, Galaxy is based on an on hit. So if they can block all of their, your attacks and they're not even going to be super powerful. It's going to be two, it's going to be four 16s or 21 if you get a trigger and a break ride, which isn't horrible to stop. So I don't really run the breaker because it's a bit slow and can be inconsistent, but I think I might run one more grade three and being the break ride as a tech just to see. Uh, grade twos, I'm running four copies of Blau Kluger, the grade two of the ride chain. So if you have the grade one in the ride chain, plus one K permanently and on hit on flip, I run this at four because it's another Blau unit, but also in the early game, it can make some pretty cheeky plays, which I'll show you uh, in a little bit, so I like it. Um, running four copies of Mars Blau Kluger, great card. When your Blau Vanguard hits and it's on the rear guard, counter blast one, Mars restand itself with plus five. So, good early game card. Don't need to say more. I'm running three copies as my other grade two, Gross Bear. I'm... Not running Jupiter Blau Kluger because while it is a Blau unit, this card can make 19k columns with a 7k booster, which is nice early game because it's a 15k drop or damage. So, I while I do run stuff a bit because they're a Blau only, this one I prefer just because uh, the 12k and because striding is more prevalent than limit breaking, you don't really need to have a full Blau front row for Galaxy. Grade ones, we're running four copies of Blau Dunkelheit, the Blau PG, which it's a PG. There you go. It's searchable thanks to Morgan Roth. So this is obviously the PG you're going to run. Running four copies of Extreme Battler Arashid, which is a stride fodder. Again, striding more stride fodder. No real other grade ones to run because there aren't really any Blau grade ones except for the PG and the grade one of the ride chain. So. Uh, we're running four copies of Claydol Mechanic, 
It's Nova Grappler, pretty counterblast heavy, kind of standard to run four uh, clay dolls. Then the last grade one, I am running three copies of grade one Blaupanzer. Uh, it doesn't really do anything because I am not uh, running the grade zero of the ride chain. But, and I, I don't really use its ability. Its other ability is on call, reveal a grade three, search for stern and discard that grade three. So I don't really use that ability either. I use it because like for Morgan Run, it's a searchable plow unit, but also riding uh, Blau Kluger on top of it makes it a 10k base with an ability, which is kind of nice to have. So I do like to run this. Blop Nazar. Blop Nazar. Uh, triggers, I'm running four draws. I'm running Snee Region, which is the aesthetic draw because uh, all the Blau units are space slash German themed. I don't know what Schnee Region stands for, but I know it's German. Blau Kluger literally translates to Wise Blue. So, Wise Blue Mars makes sense. Wise Blue Star for Stern. Wise Blue Galaxy, etc. Uh, four heals, Aesthetic Heal, Region Bojan. It's a heal trigger. G Guards, healing, pseudo unflips, etc. I'm running eight crits and I'm sad because I can't run the aesthetic crit because crits with skills exist. So no um, Scona Sweater. I'm running four copies of Extreme Battler Break Pass, which is the Victor Heartthumb clone. I'm running it because I'm running the Victor Grade 4, so might as well run it on those turns where I stride into it. And I'm running four copies of Red Lightning, uh, move into Soul on Flip. Still Nova Grappler, so it's nice to have that on Flip. Onto the G zone, running one copy of Victon, which is on hit, stand a card with plus five. It's nice if I don't really have a field because it gives me striding, it helps me get more cards, and it's a, it's decent. I'm running two copies of Victoplasma, which is Counterblast 2, flip over a copy of Victoplasma, GB2, gets the ability after it loses a drive check and gets the ability after it attacks, dump two, restand. I know I should run four because it works against control, so on and so forth. I am not running it at four because when I first got them, this deck, uh, Victoplasma, was going for 18 apiece. I am a college student. I do not really have the money to drop 72 on these four cards when alternatives like Bustard, who we'll get into later, exist. So. If you have the money slash a full deck, I would recommend you go for Victoplasma if you can. Dump Victon in like a Cry Elemental, I guess. I don't know. Or just send us two more Victoplasma. Or give me Victoplasma. Don't support us on Patreon. We have one of those. But yes, I don't want to spend money on four Victoplasmas when there are cheaper alternatives that get the job done decently well. Uh, next, I am running, as I said slightly previously, for Medio Kaiser Victor, which is G Flip gains on hit standard card with 5k and GB3 when it attacks standard card with 5k. It's a good stride, gives me a reason to run the Heart Thumb crit, so yeah, run that four. Then I am running four copies of Medio Kaiser Bustard because. It is, a, it is like half the price of Victoplasma, maybe even a bit less, and it fills up more spots in the G-Zone, which is actually a pretty nice card. It came out in Fighters Clutch in 2016. What it does is when it attacks, Counterblast 1 flip over any face-down G-Unit, but you're going to probably want to target itself at least the first time. For each face-up Bustard in the G-Zone, stand a rear guard. And if two rear guards were stood from this ability, so if you have two Bustards in the G-Zone, Bustard gets the ability... Counterblast 1, disc Counterblast 1, uh, discard 2. If you have five rear guards, if you have a full field when you do use its ability, pay the cost, Counterblast 1, discard 2, restand Buster with drive minus 2, so it becomes single drive. It's a restanding Vanguard and Nova Grapplers. It's good. It lets you stand rear guards, which Victoplasma can't do for the same net cost, which is pretty nice even though they don't get power. So I do like to run uh, Buster. Next, I'm running one copy of Modu on those times when I have when I have um, Stern on the field and want to stride instead of staying on Stern because it can come in handy. Uh, I'm running one copy of the Righteous Superhuman Blue Prison, which is when you G guard. If you have equal or more damage than your opponent plus 5k shield, pretty easy requirement and it's a G guard. 
running one copy of Metal Element Screw You for the 10k bonus because Nova Grappler doesn't have its alternative G guard like sets clans that were in set 7, 8, 9 do. So need the one that can gain 10k. And two copies of Dismal because uh, protecting some of these rear guards are kind of important, so protecting them can come in pretty handy. And now, just really quickly, I'm going to show you the early game play I like to make uh, for rushing and going fast. So, starter, Morgan Rot, your turn, uh, ride Blau Panzer, call, take dam uh, damage check, draw a trigger, why not? Next turn, uh, ride Blau Kluger, call Mars Blau Kluger. Mars, attack a rear guard, attack vanguard, whatever, they guard, they take, etc. Then you attack with uh, this column. Let's say they no guard. What you do is you can counterblast one, restand, plus five because Mars ability. Then, because timing doesn't exist, you can use Blau Kluger's ability to unflip. And then, because timing has still s continued to not exist, Morgan Rot to counterblast one, check the top three. Oh, here's a perfect guard because you can search those and you get to add that to your hand. And then you can attack for 14. So, Blau is a really nice early game. It's a fun deck, it's getting support, so I'm glad about that because Blau was one of my three favorite decks of all time, so I'm happy about that, and uh, thank you for watching, I hope if you had the Blau stuff before the hype hit, you build the deck, uh, hope this helped you if you want to build Blau, and keep it real.